I love seeing new Raspberry Pi images. This is awesome. And here we go, Pi Piggies, also putting this on a Supreme build base. Demeso also has a 200 gigabyte image out there. And then there's a 128, and then there's V-Man's 512. Or you can start with a brand new base image and build one yourself. But for the most part, those are the big images out right now. And this one is just gives you another option, especially at that 200 gigabyte uh, capacity where micro SD cards are slightly cheaper. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and, you know, see the game list, see what's going on here, test out some games, and I'll share my thoughts on, you know, what I think about this image, give it a rating, but also compare it to the Demesa one because they're very identical and they're both at the 200 gig limit and they're both sharing a similar base image. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I want to start this video off with some gameplay while I talk about the difference between this image, the Pie Piggies, and the Demeso image, and some other images out there right now. Now, um, this image is the Supreme base image, and you're going to see dinner. in a moment that um, it has a lot of really great options on it. A lot of scripts installed, a lot of third-party apps that you don't have to install yourself, a lot of game lists, video snaps, bezel project, the theme scripts to get themes. Um, and so for those reasons, it's quite set up, but so is the Demeso image. I don't think there's a big difference between those two there. Now, where you're really going to get into some differences here is the games that are included. This game has, pro this one has about 20 more PlayStation games. I think it has quite a bit different PSP and Dreamcast games. Uh, but this one does have Open Boar and Daphne, they both do. This one, the one we're watching right now, the Pi Piggies, I don't think they included Neo Geo. I'm gonna have to check the arcade set again if it's in there, but there's no Neo Geo uh, category. Um, and there's just little differences like that, like hack games are not included. So there's quite a bit difference with the ROMs that are included on it. The other thing is love and care. Now that I've had some time to spend time on this image, um, I have to say there's probably a little less love and care than I've seen on both the Virtual Man image and the Demeso image. Where, for example, just the whole Nintendo 64 catalog has been dumped on this one. And a lot of those games don't run. And some of them will run with a little bit of editing. If you go ahead and go into the emulation settings, change the emulator core and or um, change the resolutions. Those games will then run properly. So, um, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. The two. other thing that this image doesn't have is a Thomas Wave and Naomi games as well, which you'll see on some of the other images. Uh, but here's uh, Dreamcast running, and um, it's running pretty good. But uh, back to the differences between the images. Um, but like I said, this one's not bad. There's nothing bad about it. So that's why I'm not, you know, hopefully I'm just sharing with you the differences between the two. Um, because this one does have certain games that the other one does not. But just like with any image, you're going to always find stuff that you do and do not like on it. And Ooh, if you read my nice comment counter. sections on some of my videos, Ooh, people have just lag. the weirdest, um, you know, things they say about an image. So um, as we watch the rest of this video, I'll show you the game collection so you can make a, you know, your own decision as far as that. And then um, everything I've mentioned so far, you know, if you overclock, it might help some of this. Also, if you change the video settings within the... Like this is Redream, for example, we can totally, you know, scale right. down the uh, resolution or mess with those video settings and get it to perform a little bit better. But as you see, it was totally playable as is. I was still able to beat the match. So here's the All Nintendo right. nope, 64. Look at Hot Wheels here. We're not doing this. I couldn't even handle that setting. Uh, Killer Instinct. This game will actually run okay on the Pi 4. You just got to change the resolution a little bit. You'll see here that with it before changing the resolution, it's just not that great. So really small little fixes you have to do on this image. But um, let's go ahead and jump into the image and some of the settings on it. But um, you'll see later I play Micro Machines and it plays great uh, as stock. So let's jump into the image and see some specifics. So as I mentioned, it is based on the Supreme Team uh, build. And they have some pretty cool sc scripts that you'll see. And they're pretty standard these days, like turning off the background music. It does come with background music. I turn that off. Controller tools, adding a light gun. If you have Zinmo, uh, arcade controllers, um, emulation tools, Dreamcast date and time fix, Amiga help, RetroPie tools, quite a fit of the overclock script, um, GPIO shutdown scripts for your cases and things like that. Visual tools, you do have the bezel project and they are enabled to start. You also have Hursty themes, so this is where I would go to download a bunch more themes because as I mentioned, there's only two themes to get started with. Um, a couple other scripts that are pretty standard now. Now, Fix My Build is kind of a cool script. I haven't played with it much yet, but that is something that looks like the Supreme Retro team is using. And then um, a couple other, they have an online tool um, as well that they're working on um, as far as 
uh, uh, changes later. Now, as far as what version of RetroPie is this particular build on when you first grab it, in case you're curious, it is on 4.5.16, so um, fairly recent build. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. Scum VM, we've got a total of 96. Big Scum VM collection there, that's quite a bit. Sega 32X32, pretty standard. Super Famicom, 509. SG-1000, Sega, you get 68. Super Nintendo, you've got 788. I didn't see many hacks. This system does not have hacks. This is the Steam Link and allows you to kind of um, stream between another computer running Steam. So that's cool that it's pre-installed for you if you want it. TI-99 Texas Instruments System 90. Vetrix. We've got 25. Virtual Boy. Probably similar. 25. Sharp 68,000. We've got 242. Z Machine. We have three. Sinclair ZX Spectrum 184. One total games total, it's like almost 12,000. Yeah, 11,800. Open Beats of Rage. I'll go ahead and show this list for you really quick. A lot of people like to experiment with these. Here is your list of games there. So, quite a few. And these are like fan made games, some of them. Some of them are just like hacks. They're really cool. Uh, there's 58 of those. Amiga. You've got 626. Open Beats of Rage, you probably want a uh, keyboard to set up your controls initially. Amiga CD 3225. Uh, CPC 141, I think it said. Arcade, it's got a huge arcade set. It's got some really good Capcom games, some MAME games, a bunch, and a lot of them run really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. So 1,728, Atari 2600, 630. Yes, it has Atari 5200 at 96. Atari 7800, you've got 58. Atari Lynx Portable, you've got 83. Commodore 64, you have 64 games. Coleco Vision, you got 140. Daphne. You've got quite a bit, actually. A lot of people like to see what Daphne is on there. So that's cool that they included that. Some people skimp out on the Daphne. Dreamcast. These run really well, and a lot of people like to see the list here. So there you go. Quite a few games. I like that they included Tetris. I don't know if I've ever played this version of Tetris. I'm going to have to give it a shot. The Tetris 4D. Looks like a cool one. Time Stalkers on here as well. Some good games. Family Computer System. 386. Family Computer Disk System. 128. Nintendo Game & Watch, 52, Game Gear Portable, 259, Game Boy, 557, Game Boy Advanced, 1026, Game Boy Color, 533, Intellivision, 133, Kodi, pre-installed, Sega Master System, 277, Sega Mega Drive, 778, MSX2, 100. Nintendo 64, they threw the whole collection on here, 303. I'll talk about that later, but a lot of those games are not going to run very well, even on the Pi 4. Nintendo DS, 252. So quite a bit there as well. This is something that might set this image apart from some other ones, is a larger Nintendo DS collection. Nintendo, 786. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 40. Zork, uh, 5. There you're 5. And um, PC games, I don't think there's any DOS games on there. I think they just installed DOSBox for you. I have to go ahead and network into the Pi and check that out, though. PC Engine to see if there's any actual ROMs there. 100. Pixel, the desktop, if you want to like run a desktop. And, you know, hey, this Pi 4 can run a desktop. You can do some browsing. Ports, you've got um, another shortcut for your desktop. <laughs> you have um, a shortcut to your open bore, another shortcut to your Steam. So some of this is a little redundant. Quake 2, Quake 3 Arena, though, it looks cool. And then uh, you got a Duke Nukem and Doom. Power, but you can easily just hit your start on your menu and hit quit here. It'll get you to the same thing. But um, power, and there should be like reboot and shutdown. Yeah. But uh, if you're running on arcade cabinet, that's actually very helpful. PSP. So this is again where you're going to see some variation because these games are so big. So there's a total of 33. So if you're looking for a particular set or a particular game to, you know, you just don't want to, um, you know, look for a game or find it, find the ROM, whatever. Um, some of these games are really fun though. They do have a good collection of games here. I would have added, oh, okay, good. Metal Slug's on there. Cool. Um, so there you go, 33 of those. PSP minis, again, this is just, a, I think, a dump. This is like all, actually, I think there might be more. It might not be, but that's a lot of PSP mini games. Um, a lot of them run, do run. So I don't play around with them that much. But uh, PlayStation set, so 114 PlayStation games. And I'll just run through the set really quick as I wrap up. We're going to play some games. 
And um, just my initial comments, um, you know, it's a fine image, gives you another option, different ROM sets. Excuse me, I moved over there. And, um, but it's, it's good. You are going to want to customize it yourself as far as adding splash screen videos to the introduction, unless you like that stock one, um, maybe changing out the background music to something you like. There's not a lot pre-installed there changing out the themes. Now, all that is very easy to do. And this image is going to give you functionality to do all that. Oh, am I winning this or what? Whoa. Never speak too soon. Oh, 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 what it do? What is my break, by the way? Oh, there's my break. Okay, cool. Ooh. See, now this Micro Machine Games is way more complicated because you can get, like, power-ups and stuff. I never quite understood. I never really got a grasp on, you know, using them. But there's a little presence around the track, like, right there. Let's grab this. See, oh, okay. So this is the grabber. Oh, okay. It's my, am it's my trigger. Watch, I can grab this guy once I get close. Oh, and then pass him up. Oh. Okay, now it just wore off. Oh, shoot. He might actually win. How many laps do we have? So yeah, the presents are nice, but some of, like, I just haven't quite figured out all of them yet. I know there's, like, some that are... And as far as the courses, you can actually get away with a lot of, um, going in, not going in between the lines. Well, you'll get slowed down and stuff, but you don't actually get, like, Analyze. I got a second. Not too shabby. So this game's running great. Really good. In So in conclusion, I'm going to give this one a B. It has very good intentions. It's got a lot of ROMs on it, and it's got a great base image. Where I take some points away is that it's not optimized to its fullest extent. It's very much not customized either. That might actually be a pro to some other people out there though, that they'd rather install their own stuff. So if that's you, this might be an A image for you. With all that said though, if I had to choose between the Demeso image and this image at this point in time, I'd probably go with the Demeso one. That's just because it has a little more love and care into it, but not a lot more. And I actually wish both image makers would have made a 256 gigabyte just because I feel like that's a more common size, but I totally understand it's not a huge deal. You can easily get a 256, flash this on here, expand it and add your own ROM. So anybody could do that. I just thought it might be nice to see a 256 out on the scene because the next jump up is 400 or 512 if you're going by SD card. Speaking of size, this image is only 150 gigabyte download, so it's not too bad. And then when you extract it, you're gonna get a 180 gig file, which is 194 billion 252 million bytes. Whatever the case may be, I just love seeing new Raspberry Pi images. And don't get me wrong, a B is a passing grade, a very good passing grade. I just simply am comparing it to the other images out there to help you all make a better uh, informed decision. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.